guys, Dina Rose here and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Craft. We are here at the zoo and today I have, well, I had an idea of something I was going to do today and then I found something and it changes everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many of you may know that I have been spending a lot of time under the ground lighting up caves, lighting up caverns, lighting up the world because it's dark and scary down there. And uh, off camera, I was I was lighting up around and then I remembered that I had this thing right over here. I knew that I had this great big um, ravine that kind of cut through and I was like, you know what, I should probably light this up. So I came down here and I started lighting things up and started lighting things up and I came around the corner and bam. This would be a skeleton spawner. Um, I've been looking for one of these all season. And it was here the whole time. And if I had just lit up the area over here, I would have found it. But I found it finally, and so we're gonna actually use this today to make something. Yeah, because this is like right below the ground. Um, so much so that if I'm standing the, the pillar of, of uh, stone, that, that was me, I wanted to see how close I was to the surface. And I am close enough, if I've done my calcula calculations correctly, I am close enough that here on the surface, the, the spawner's active. <laughs> so, we're going to take advantage of that today, and we are going to be making a skeleton grinder. Yeah, I know, it's kind of late in the season to be doing this. Well, I mean, we're not that late in the season, but... You know, we've got some great XP farms and stuff like that. I know there's other skeleton spawners around that have been made up, but I kind of want one of my own. And I kind of love the fact that it's right here. I mean, look it. Look it. We are right here. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to build myself a spawner. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, dig out this area. I want to have this spawner in such a way that I can look down and see it working. I know, not, not normal, not the most efficient, but that's what I want. I want to be able to look down and see the spawner working. So I'm going to dig out an area, I'm going to start working my way down, and I'm going to build this thing up. So let me get started and I'll bring it back in when I've got something to show. I have dug down to the spawner room. This is going to be the place where we can stand. And as you can see here, um, the spawner is active. So the next thing I need to do is I need to uh, dig that floor down. I'll show you where we're at uh, as far as um, height wise down here. I did leave a space so that I could get back into the room. Um, we are right at spawner level and I need to, oops, I dropped some stairs. Yeah, so you can see the room is going to look like this. I need to dig this down um, at least six more blocks and then start the start working on the, the shaft that's going to go up, the water column that's going to go up and shoot these guys up to the top. So more digging, let's go. Uh, 
I just got notification from 80 that uh, we were out of TNT at the at the shop. So I have loaded up my pockets with all the TNT that I have right now, um, as well as some more gunpowder and uh, paper because I think that we might be low on that. As you can see, this is it. I'm gonna have to go sand mining for a while. I mean, we're we're still super good on TNT on on the gunpowder. Yeah. Super good on the gunpowder, but sand is kind of the holdup for TNT, and I'm going to have to go sand mining soon so that we can restock that. But for now, let's head over to the shopping area and find out what the damage is um, and if there's anything else that we need to stock today. All right, I got the special order for 80 in here. Uh, he requested six more stacks of TNT. Let's see how the shop is doing. Nice. So Kaboom is restocked, and like I said, I need to, I think I need to get some um, of the end crystals in here. I think that would be a good thing to start selling, as well as uh, get some more TNT in there. Because if people want to do big demolition with TNT, they're going to want some more. Let's get out here. Let's go see what the uh, flower and dye shop is doing. See if there's anything there that we need to stock as well. By the way, I love this garden. This is just amazing. Just amazing. Love it, love it, love it. All right, flower and dyes. Oh, for a second I thought that was a creeper. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, it does look like I should bring in some more ink. I did empty this on street uh, the other day, so. Yeah, nothing, nothing new there. I should bring it over some ink though, and ink seems to be the big seller here. So, yeah, let me do that, and we'll get back to you. All right, I've got the water shoot in. This should bring them all the way up to high enough that when they come down here, they're a one-hit kill. That's the hope. Hopefully, I, I um, measured that out correctly. But before that can happen. We gotta un- yeah, I know. Lots of torches. I gotta untorch the place and get the water in and not die. So that is the next thing that it has to happen. But yeah, this is all covered up so they won't burn as they come up there. Uh, it does need to be detailed out. I have, I have a plan for that. All right, let's go untorch this. The lights are all out, and the reason why this isn't actually spawning anything yet is because it's got sky access. So right now, because of the, the sunlight coming straight down on it, it's making it light enough down there that there's nothing that is spawning. So as soon as I get a cover on this area, we will get some spawns. Not a big deal. Also, nighttime's coming. I'm going to start working on decorating this area out, getting some structure built, and I'll see you in a bit. Progress is being made. Progress is being made. I got the uh, the structural thing up at the top, um, and yes, I know it doesn't actually like hold up there, but that's okay. That's okay. We're allowed to have floaty type things um, in Minecraft, right? Right. But this is this is the idea of what we're going with. Uh, definitely using this this um, mossy cobble to signify you know this is a mob grinder and uh we still need to get the roof on that that's something that still needs to happen we did have uh one skeleton come down through so we've gotten one little bit of of mob drop but yeah this is this is what we've got going on so far in fact with night coming if we stand here we should be able to see something spawn here very soon um, oh look something did spawn Let's see if we can catch it spawning there we go we got one spawning in uh, it's still pretty light through the center part uh, we do need to get the get the um, the roof on but yeah this this guy spawned in we just gotta hit him and his drops it's not perfect. Um, they do kind of go in my pocket. They're probably going to go all over the place, but it works. It works and they don't die. Okay. We're not done though. 
I just noticed this is kind of a dark spot right there. This close to the having a mob farm out here, I don't necessarily want a bunch of dark spots where things are going to spawn in and just, you know, come and ruin my day as I'm in the in the mob grinder. I am going to put in some um, gates right here. I think that's the way to go. Here, let's see if we can punch these guys. Yep. Okay, he's got armor on, but even with even with a stake, you know, they're that easy to kill. So, perfect, perfect. All right, let me continue working here, getting the roof on. This is going much better than I thought it would. All right, just need one last block to finish the entire thing. That's right, it's done. And it looks really cool from the air. Let, let, let's let's head out toward my toward my tree farm. Yep, this is where I farm my trees. Come back and look at it. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh goodness, I like it. I like it a lot. So this is the skeleton farm. And yes, I've I've used gates so that you know we can lock ourselves in. Oops, lock ourselves in. Uh, I needed one more hopper, so let's put this hopper in here. What was happening is the stuff would land here and um, shoot out, and that just wasn't so great. So this is now completely dark. The skeletons spawn in, they come up and around. You can watch them come up the, uh, the water thing, which is so cool. So you can watch them go up, and you can watch them fall down, and you can watch them spawn in, and it's just amazing! I love it. 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 There it comes. There it comes. Gonna come in? Let's just say hi. There they go up. Oh, that's so cool. And... Here they come down. Yay! And so as you can see, we've got all kinds of stuff coming in. And yeah, uh, I, I ended up, yeah, breaking the chest and stuff. But this is, this is working, and I love it. Um, it looks like Wild has a present for me. Well, um... We'll find out what that is in just a moment, but I want to take a, a second to talk about our comment of the day. And this is from Crystal Awesome, and it says, That guardian didn't want to allow you to navigate anywhere. And it's true. You missed the last episode. Yeah, that was a thing. This was such a fun episode. We love your builds, my kids and I. Oh, that makes me feel so great. Between you, Picklesworth, and the other alphas, we are super happy with family-friendly content. Thank you. And again, that's from Crystal Awesome. Crystal, thank you for watching, and thank you all for watching. Um, the family-friendly content thing is really important to me. Uh, I got into making YouTube videos because I wanted family-friendly content for my son. And yeah, that I noticed that there was it was hard to find good quality things, and so I started making well seen quality things for <laughs> for us to watch oh this is so much fun look at that you just watch them drop anyway thank you so much for that comment guys if you want to be the comment of the day uh leave me a, a comment on this video i love to hear from you and um yeah let me let me find out what the president's from wild and we'll be right back well wild dropped off her gift and look at we've got the really really cute Easter eggs. We've got more cute Easter eggs and we've got we've got this one and I'm really excited about this one because I loved this basket. It's like the cutest thing ever. And of course the other heads are adorable too. Oh thank you so much. I think I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go put this one up here next to the map. So let's let's remove the squid head. Let's pop down. <gasps> we got an Easter basket. It makes me happy. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you, Wild. I'm so excited about these other heads. I'm going to go put them in a safe spot right now. Um, 
I've got I've got a head chest with like player heads in here. So let's let's put these in here so I don't lose them. I'd hate to lose them. And we'll put the squid back in. But guys, I think I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm not quite sure if this is a long episode or a short episode. Uh, I felt like I did a ton of building and I thought I did enough. But if it's a short episode, uh, oh, well, I guess that's okay. If it's a long episode, sorry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And I would love to hear what you'd like to see me do in the next episode. Also, check out the other alphas. Their links are in the description below and they're all amazing and awesome. So they're definitely worth a check out. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Oh, I think I just said that already. I'm so, I'm so, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.